Now, as I was saying, we were going to do another episode of what I was, was talking about uh, last time. First, we're doing idioms, then synonyms. Raining cats and dogs, if you hear that phrase, that means it's raining heavy. If you're like a cat got your tongue, that means you're really like speechless and and you're trying to think of what to say and you're you're standing at at a still little thing like this. And and some people might just be a little quiet and shy. And some might say, has the cat got your tongue? Well, you should remember this. Keep your shirt on, on and hold your horses means don't rush me. In the pickle and between a, in a rock and a hard place, that means you're, you're really... Really confused about something, and you can't, can't guess what what you should do. And if like, and the one that's called, and a phrase that's called "eye on it," that means means that that someone's always keeping keeping their attention on you. Not like their eye is on. Okay, and that's that's it for the idioms and synonyms. And we're gonna gonna use this is a bathroom. Okay, the normal way to say it, bathroom. Another way, restroom. Another lavatory. Next, it's Oval Office. In England, they say it like a water closet. And some people would say, like, the washroom. And the military would say, like, hey, I'm going to hit the head. What's your favorite? My favorite would apparently be the Oval Office. <laughs> really? Have you ever said, I'm going to go to the Oval Office? Well, not really. Which one do you use the most? I mostly use the lavatory, although. Yeah, I think that's true. You use that one the most. Yep. All right. In the, th in the third episode, we will do antonyms, too. Like opposite. Okay.